Welcome to another how to draw video by Render Demo. I'm Mark Kokovec and I'm gonna take you through how to draw Dennis from Roblox. So I'm gonna use a mechanical pencil right now and I wanna do this because I don't wanna to commit to certain shapes right away. So I wanna to try to block this in and make sure I have the right proportions. So first to start off, I'm gonna start off with a box for his head area like this. So just a simple kind of box and at the bottom there's a little curve to it. Okay. And I'm going to start with this whole body before we go into details like the eyes and the mouth and hair. Um, let's try to get his proportions correct. So coming down from, from his head, we're going to draw almost like a center line like that. And we want to draw his chest area. So I want to get just below his neck. I'm going to draw a line across like this, and just being out from the side of his head, just like that on both sides. And we are doing a symmetrical body, which it means it's the same on both sides of, a, of this center. And we're going to come down about almost the same size of his head, almost. And we're going to draw a line this way. So that's going to be his chest. And then we're gonna draw a curve this way and a curve this way. And then from here, we're gonna draw a straight line down like so. So not as much as the height here of his chest, but a little bit less, slightly less. This is his lower part of his body. And then we're gonna come outward like this. We're gonna draw a straight line and then we're gonna do another rectangular shape down here, like this. There, that's his upper body. And if we come down here through the center, this is gonna be where his legs come out and, and angle to the side slightly. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in from the edge here, just a little bit on both sides, and we're gonna draw a curve in this direction like this. So if I draw the center like that, we're gonna come out this way. And then about this far over, it's gonna come out that way. We're gonna come out this way like that. And then the same for this side like that. And that looks pretty good. And then we'll draw, um, he's gonna have a foot over here. So what I'm gonna do is, there's gonna be kind of like an angle like this, and an angle like that. So this inner part of his leg extends down lower than the top part here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a curve like this. And that comes back this way. And I do a curve this way and this comes back this way like that. And remember guys, if you make a mistake or anything, it's okay. Um, you know, you can correct that. So right here, if you take this point where his foot is and draw a slightly downward of an angle like that, this will be the end of his foot there. And then these, I made those a little bit too too round, so it's gonna be a little bit flatter, like that. The nice thing about an eraser and a pencil, you can use those together to kind of take away certain lines and certain shapes that you don't like. All right, so now for, well, let me start uh, finishing up with his arms. So he's gonna have two cylindrical shapes over here. So one arm, I'm gonna start a little bit off of the body right about here and it's gonna be angled in this direction. And it's gonna come in contact with his chest right about here. So we're gonna do a cylinder. So by doing a cylinder, we can draw two lines like this. And right about here, it's almost in line if you extend this top of his shoulder out. Somewhere just about there, you draw a line this way. And then a cylinder has an ellipse up here. 
So if you do a shape like that, this is kind of like a pointy ellipse, it's like this. And then the base here, and if you look where his chest is, if you kind of take that line and come across somewhere about here, that's going to be the, the bottom of his the bottom of his arm there. And then we'll just do another one here since we're here like that. And then from this point and this point, we're gonna come down kind of in a straight line like that. And then right about here, we're gonna do another kind of an ellipsoid shape, ellipse shape. And if you guys wanna learn how to draw ellipses, um, you can check out my how to draw book. It, it takes you through how to draw ellipses and circles and squares, cubes, cones, all kinds of stuff. I'll put it up here on this, um, in the corner here so you can get reference to it. All right, and then now we're gonna draw right here where this, this point is here. I'm just gonna draw a circle and I want this circle to be within the width of his arm and come to about right here. So we're gonna draw a, a circular shape like that. And then I'm gonna draw, kind of cut out like a box shape out of there and that's his, that's his hand. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side because he's symmetrical. Again, off the center, everything's the same on this side. And one technique you could do is you could fold the page in half and if you can see through the paper, you can use that. But we're just gonna do this freestyle. So we're gonna come over here and using similar points on, on what's, and the angles that we established here, we're gonna kinda do the same. Gonna stop in certain areas like that, and then if you run this over here. So try to do your best on matching what you already did on one side. And then like I said, just use points as markers and locations and that'll really help you try to make this, try to make Dennis look as symmetrical as possible. So again, I'm just using certain reference points like that. And then this comes down, so we'll do an ellipse here. Like that. And then I'll draw my circle Again, keeping it within this boundary. You could also use a ruler if you wanna to try to get this exact, uh, but we're just gonna, you know, freestyle it for now. Like that. Cool. Now let's finish off his pants. So he's gonna have a curve in this direction and then one in this direction and I'm just going to do the same on this side like that and let's finish off his his head area so his chest here we're going to curve it up just a little bit like that and we're going to add a collar to his shirt here on his chest like that, gonna follow his chin, shape of his chin. And then for his head, we're gonna go almost in the center, right about here. So almost if you drew a box, which is equal lengths on all four sides, if you go right about there, that kind of finishes off the box. We're gonna go up from that area and that's gonna be his hairline. It's gonna kind of come up like that, gonna come up like this. And then his hair about halfway from here to here, his hair is gonna end. It's gonna kind of 
swoop up. And this side here, we'll go just a little bit lower. And we're gonna come this, come up like this. It'll be almost like a flame shape. I come up and there's gonna be like a peak up, up above here, like a couple peaks. So this one will hook and do that. Come down with another one, highest one right there. They're kind of going sideways a little bit. And this one's kind of connected like that. And then another one like this. We'll just do a nice curve like that. Cool, now we're gonna do his eyeballs. So if you have the center of his head right about here, we're gonna go to either side just a little bit like that. And then no nose, but we're gonna do the mouth and the mouth's gonna kind of point just to the side of his eyes this is where his mouth is gonna start. And this one's gonna be on this side a little bit. And we're gonna do a smiley face like this. And we'll give him a little tongue like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and color him in. is Dennis, how to draw Dennis from Roblox. Hope you like this video. See you next time.